Hey Virgos, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your reading for June 2021. Sun will rise to be in sign. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. See what your spirit team wants you to know this week or whenever you see this video. Give me the cards here for Virgo. Sun will rise to be in sign. Okay, Virgo. You guys, if this reading resonates with you, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. If this reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check the description box. I have all of the zodiac signs listed there. You can check your moon rising <clears throat> and Venus sign um, to get a clear picture of what your spirit team wants you to know this week. Okay. The cards here for Virgo. One more time, Virgo. There we go. Oh my goodness. If you have Aries, or your, uh, not Aries, if you have Taurus in your chart somewhere, make sure you go watch that video, okay? Because I feel like you have a lot of similar cards as Taurus here, okay? goodness okay all right let's go in virgo you have warning coming up your first card don't dismiss the red flags here why okay your reading is is about love here okay i see you guys working on your on yourself there's a lot of changes going on with you here okay um and I feel like you may have outgrown a situation here, okay? You have surrender to trust, okay? Trust yourself and your decisions. Trust your intuition here, Virgo. Don't be swayed by others, uh, by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path here, okay? Someone's going to try to sway your decision here because they want to captivate you. That's what I feel. And it's surrounding love. It's surrounding a relationship relationship that you have with someone here a romantic one okay this could be a friendship as well but it feels like it's someone uh, a romantic partner here okay but spirit is saying definitely guard yourself guard your energy here okay you have children here okay children are an important um children are important to this partnership either you have children or the person that you're dealing with has children that's why that card is showing up and you have surrender your fear of change so you may have been very connected to their child here okay um i feel like this may not be your child it may be their child maybe you were in a relationship with this person here virgo and you got really close with their child here um and you build a bond and a connection this won't resonate with everybody okay this is a message for someone specifically here okay i feel definitely here um this may be a reason why you may try to connect with back with this person or why this person wants to connect back with you because i feel like there's a relationship coming back into your life here virgo and um this is gonna be very hard uh to let go of i feel like some of you guys want to let go of the partner but the child is why you're sticking around okay um your card is saying the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job your health or a relationship or if you fear aging or death repeat the affirmation i have faith that all is well and i feel like yeah if you're afraid to leave this child or afraid to leave this relationship because you don't want to leave the relationship with a child and i'm saying this specifically because this card is coming out so this won't resonate with everyone okay i feel like spirit is definitely letting you know that the the child uh will be well if you did decide to remove yourself from the connection here because the relationship was not working out here okay this is either their child or a child you have with someone okay you have release here radical acceptance and surrender can help 
you let go here and you have surrender obsessive thoughts so there's a lot of thinking a lot of things going on in your mind right now some of you guys are having a difficult time making a decision of what you need to do or what you want to do here okay your card is saying if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn uh yeah it says turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem here so they're talking about connecting with your guys your spirit guys or even praying about this situation and turning it over to spirit turning it over to uh, the divine to help you sort out this situation and ask for clarity and guidance uh, to help you make the best decisions uh, for all party parties involved here okay you have strictly sexual coming in this connection is passionate but not enduring here and some of you guys feel this way you feel like you have a good romantic sexual connection with this person but the love may be missing understanding is missing patience is missing and trust is missing missing here okay um that's why spirit is saying trust yourself and don't dismiss the red flags okay um in regards to what's happening in the connection here all right you also have surrender fear here in making a decision your card is saying let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself here virgo stay in the moment focus on uh solutions and celebrate every baby step forward here okay let's go into your cards and see what you're dealing with here this week there's a lot of pressure on your shoulder a lot of weight on your shoulder i'm feeling with the ten of wands energy here that's going on you have a lot going on you're trying to be successful um in your in your work possibly and in a relationship you're trying to make a very hard decision in regards to your connection um and i feel like you guys are really uh stressing yourself out some of you guys feel this heavy weight on your shoulder and it's kind of burdensome here that's what i'm feeling with the ten of wands energy you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to be everything here to everyone here all right oh this little sign that i see in this basket i don't really notice it all the time well, this is my first time really seeing it. And I use these cards often. But they're saying this could be um, health problems due to stress. You need to um, really take some downtime and take care of your physical health here, okay? Take care of yourself here um, so that you don't stress yourself out to the point where you're feeling sick or ill, okay? The need for balance in life. Let others help you here. That's what your card is saying, all right? Someone may be very dependent you may have a codependent relationship on your hands right now uh with the five of swords energy that is coming in here and it may be weighing on you very heavily some of you guys feel like someone is definitely taking advantage of you right now at this moment here and spirit is saying think about the choices that you need to make before moving forward here okay but first and foremost take care of yourself here virgo okay because you can't make the proper moves or make decisions with a clouded mind Just just like the clouds are around her head right there she her mind is clouded she's holding her head she's feeling sick she she can't get her thoughts together here okay and i feel like that's what spirit is saying that you need to take time to take care of yourself right now some of you guys need to pull back so that you can work on your health can so you can work on your mind here okay and make a decision for yourself someone has you really pent up that's what i feel some of you guys are dealing with the libra gemini aquarius here okay your card is saying an unwise choice there's a better way that will make you happier avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable um, motives here okay so there's this need for you to really detach yourself from that energy that's over there, okay? Because it's really got you in this energy of uh, feeling conflicted. Some of you guys feel like who you are dealing with may have uh, toxic traits and they're spilling over into your energy field, okay? You feel like this person also may be very manipulative, controlling, or narcissistic. That's the energy that's coming from over there, okay? And this is something that you really have to uh, deal with. But before you can deal with it, you have to get yourself in a healthier uh, mindset, in a healthier um, physical um, energy as well. Like some of you guys, 
the situation makes you physically sick just trying to handle all of the stress and all of the negativity i feel like some of you guys question your person a lot you may have trust issues with them okay this person may tell you that nothing is going on but deep down in your heart you know something is all right and that's why you have warning here don't dismiss the red flags and trust your intuition your card is saying trust yourself in your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions here y'all definitely <laughs> need to watch uh taurus reading if you have taurus in your chart somewhere okay because some someone's gonna come back very strong or they're presently in your um in your life right now at this moment here okay so um what you need to focus on you have the four of cups that is uh coming in here okay your card is saying fall failing to recognize a magical opportunity missing the point the distraction of daily life here okay especially with the ten of wands discontentment or boredom okay or lack of satisfaction that is going on with you guys lost in your own world they want you to wake up and start to really take care of yourself that is what your card is saying here i don't feel like you're missing any opportunity someone may be missing an opportunity with you especially after you wake up here okay um someone's emotions are closed off here okay um i feel like whoever you're dealing with here their emotions are closed and they're not noticing how you're struggling how you are overwhelmed with the relationship and the responsibilities here okay spirit definitely wants you to wake up your own energy to work on yourself right now and see a situation for what it truly is here okay so you have the page of swords coming in the reverse position this is someone that may be speaking to you that is very uh deceptive okay with the page of swords in it's not in the reverse but if it is in the past this is what you're trying to get away from someone that you feel is very deceitful here okay and i feel like this is what you're you're trying to leave behind you because deep down inside they may be saying all the right things that you want to hear but underneath the surface you feel like they're it's not they're not being honest with you they're not being truthful with you here okay so what is crowning you here is a six of cups this is your strength and i feel like your spirit team is just trying to uh boost your energy here okay let you know that you do have a good heart uh that you can experience growth in your life you can manifest things into the real world here with the six of cups because some of you guys are longing for the way things used to be with the six of cups showing up here but spirit is saying okay you have learned uh things in your life here in regards to love since we're talking about the um cups energy here okay it's talking about our heart some of those things are very difficult um the lessons that you may have learned may be very difficult even in your childhood you may have experienced difficulties um with people loving you properly here uh virgo but i feel like spirit just wants to remind you that you do have a good heart here okay and that you need to right now at this moment uh practice self-care um start to love yourself again okay um and bring your energy back up that's what i feel like they're wanting you to do so how do you do that you have to move on okay even though it is difficult for a lot of you guys to do this you have to move on there needs to be a change in the way that you think uh the uh, change in the way that you move here with the six of swords in the future position here virgo okay uh your card is saying the end of challenging times things will start to look up a welcome relief finding your way to a peaceful place the end of depression or illness here okay there's this need for you to make a change in your life here so your suggested approach get it moving i feel like that's what they're saying okay after you replenish your energy like your card is saying here okay i feel like they want you to replenish your energy um and get to moving again and trust your instincts trust what you're feeling here okay um and stay focused on your own goals and the truth stay focused on the truth here and don't be swayed by someone else on someone else's opinions or how uh what they're saying to you here with the knight of wands energy coming in here okay so what do you need to know you have the ace of cups coming in here um a beautiful new 
emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights. I feel like in your situation here, Virgo, this is an awakening of your uh, psychic abilities or spiritual insights. It doesn't feel like a new lover that is moving in. This is your soul waking up, okay? That's what I feel. Um, and you're going to start to see people for who they truly are. You're going to uh, get intuitive triggers uh, to tell you exactly how you need to move when you need to move here you're going to see beyond the veil that's what spirit is letting me know uh with the ace of cups here so um when you start to experience this don't dismiss it here really take it to heart um your instincts your gut instincts here and follow follow those feelings here okay because you are going through a significant change here within yourself with the judgment card coming in okay uh your card is saying clarity on your life purpose in your heart you know what to do here okay review the past with compassion and forgiveness here and head in a new direction that's what they are telling you to do here virgo okay so you have the king of cups energy that's coming in here they're calling you trustworthy they want you to know that you are a fantastic partner okay and you should be loved and you should be cherished okay um, and they want to remind you of this because someone may have broken that part of your spirit, okay, to make you feel like you uh, weren't worthy of love here, okay? That's what I'm feeling with the King of Cups. They want to bring that energy back in towards you to let you know that you are important and you are heard here, okay? All right, Virgo, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, because I will be back with you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Bye.